Hi guys, this is Belal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. Welcome to another new series and from this video we will start learning a very important component of Android Jetpack which is Paging Library. So the first question is what is Paging Library? And it is actually clear from the name. It is a library that helps us to load data within our app list or to be more specific, our app's recycler view. We use this library only when we have a huge set of data that we want to display in our list. For example, the IMDB application, it displays a huge list of movies, but we don't see all the movies at once. So to make the app efficient, we display only a chunk from the set of data. And this method has many advantages, like fetching all the data at once consumes much resources and bandwidth. So if we are fetching all the data once, our application will lag or hang. Displaying only a small chunk from a larger set will consume less bandwidth and it will make our application smoother resulting in a great user experience. So in this series, we will learn using the paging library and to page the content, we need content. So for this example, I am going to use the stack overflow API to get the data that we are going to display in our application. As I have already posted a video series that covers how we can build our own API. So in this example, I will use the stack overflow API, but if you want to do it with your own API, you can watch my tutorial and you can learn creating your own API. But we are going to display a page list and we need a huge set of data for the demonstration. So that is why I have chosen stack overflow API that already has huge data. Okay. And before getting started with Android Studio, Let's also discuss the prerequisites for this project. And yes, this project is going to be a little complicated for the newcomers, but it is really very important. So the first thing that is needed is retrofit and client. Retrofit for calling the backend API, the stack overflow API that we are going to use to fetch data. We will call that API by using retrofit and we will use glide to load the image from the URL. Then we need recycler view and inside the recycler view only we will display the data. So we need recycler view. And to manage and store the data, we also need view model. And if you don't know about these things, then I have given the links to the tutorials required to learn every prerequisites. Check the description of this video to get the links. So guys, here I have my Android Studio project and I have created this project using an empty activity. So you have to do the same. And in this video, I am not starting any coding thing, but I will only add all the things that is required for our project. So we need the paging library. This is the version of the library that we are going to use. We need view model. And this is the support version that we will use throughout this project. And this is the glide version and everything is added. So you have to add all these things. And don't worry, you don't need to copy it. You can get the source code from the link given in the description of this video. And from there you can copy and paste. So actually you do not need to type it. Okay. So that is all for this video friends. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, then please hit on the like button. Subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends. Thank you guys. This is Bilal Khan signing off.